we would like to do a case study today which is on the concepts of rose thorn and bud you can see it on the board written right so we'll pick up two top happening cafes where i think most of you go to which is starbucks and chayos Chayos has a range of products for us. At the comfort of our home, sometimes it delivers you very hot masala tea. Chayos. Starbucks has its own style of serving you the coffee which you want, and it is customized for you people. So there are a lot of things about these two brands which makes you feel good about, which is the concept of rose. So obviously, what are the thorns then? Certain things which are problematic. Each one of us has a very specific experience, which can be like a thorn to us, है ना? Can't have, right? Then comes the last one, which is bud. This is where we all, as a design thinking team of students, could work on that you have experienced, you have raised a problem, and what does the solution come for this problem? This is customization of services of a lot of products which design has enabled. So when you sit with your team and you realize there is a product which I am giving it to the market, how do I do it to ensure that it has absolutely hundred percent satisfaction for the customer? When the big bazaar concept came, then it further altered into something like a big basket. Now. Even there, if you realize, Big Basket Insta came very late, which is a customization of further delivering very few products urgently. Like suppose I need thumbs up today, you will immediately send it to me in half an hour. That service, by and large, when you have to uh, create that kind of awareness for the students, we do a lot of workshops where facilitators who are actually doing these projects with the industry come to the college. and they ensure that the institution and the students benefit out of those sessions when first we came to soil and they were like we'll do a design thinking workshop so we were very curious very inquisitive to know that what it is about design thinking is something uh, wherein we are given some practical situations and we need to think upon it we are uh, told to find out the root cause of it and uh, the problems that are related any solution that comes to our mind and secondly it does help us in very different ways because that is the practical knowledge that we are putting into it and uh, classroom teaching is basically all about theory that we are studying there is some book some author has written it the teacher is explaining it it's one thing that uh, ghai sir tells us that it's always thinking outside the box why design thinking in an mba school because it is making them very humane there is a lot of introspection there is a lot of Uh, reflection about how i do to what i learn to how do i delegate to how do i look uh, and work like a leader in a team so all these different stages of our you know program is enabling them to be a complete human design thinking is basically thinking a differently thinking about a perspective of others also and also including your point so basically it's a five point emphasize define defining a problem You are emphasizing a problem, then defining, then creating, finding creative solution. The very word that I get when I think of design thinking is innovation. Would you like to tell me anything about generally about how you experience these brands? When Starbucks came in India, it is catering and it is actually reflecting as an American market, which most of the people definitely like. But what they wanted was an Indian taste, which Chayos brought in the market uh, through their different different things like the interior that they have designed. It's made of the kettles. Uh, it's made of the kettles or the plastic bottles. That is how they are catering to the market. So sometimes the ambience makes a lot of difference according to you. Yes, ma'am. The ambience doesn't make uh, the taste of chai or coffee better, but it makes us feel good. That when we sit there, it makes us feel good. Like as you explained, rose. That is what we feel. See, when you look at the chayos and the Starbucks exercise which we did with our students, they came up with some very interesting solutions to the problem. So, what exercise we did was something which chayos and Starbucks must be doing because if you see when you go, they they have a feedback form. What I think is that Starbucks is basically focusing on customer experience. What kind of experience they are providing once the customer gets in? Because the prices are, I think, not reasonable. No, but I completely I agree with her. 
that about five years back, somebody who has gone to Starbucks, they would put it on social media. Yeah. That it I am is in Starbucks. It is a big deal for people Remember? to be in Starbucks. Yes. There will be always a, a brand for which a B brand stands. But if the B brand has to do equally well, it has to learn from the mistakes of the A brand. This is what we teach to our students. Ma'am, according to me, what my observation has been, the developing countries are very inclined and very interested in the Western world and the trends they are following. And naturally, the Starbucks is a American company. It originated in America. And when it came to India, they already had a advantage. So they were already in the beginning targeting an upper niche of India. When we think about catering the market, so they have to cater to the taste that people are having here. Okay. Some people here do not pre uh, prefer so uh, like strong coffee. So they have mended it that way or having their own frappes and that. Ma'am, I'd like to mention about the Indian's preference. Ma'am, we, uh, we have, uh, as an Indian, have a preference of the global brand. Mm. So whenever we heard about any global brand name, we have a like fantasy that we have to go. So I'd mm. like to example when the Starbucks come to India in 2013, there was a brand CCD and still exit there. Uh, mm. So ma'am, Starbucks uh, strategically point out this day in the terms of service. Like when we uh, ever go to Starbucks, they have a yes. service quality and the place that we used to sit. And they comfortably we can work over there and uh, it, it create a just environment that we can do you think the most important thing in these kind of hangouts is that they don't see the watch they don't want you to they don't want to rush and want you to go away that's a very important thing because in a lot of eateries in India which are very popular there are queues outside and they just want you to finish food fast and just leave so that is a very important thing for young generation for people who are doing business that you give us our time ccd is a very good example i think i'm very happy with that when they are doing these uh, exercises or workshops what we are developing is a strong individual somebody who can work under stress somebody who can innovate somebody who can think out of the box somebody who can think differently uh, which is the call of the day to day like if there are processes in place if you want to work in the same structure differently what elements of difference can you make when we get to study the different cases that the teachers are providing us like we have been doing different cases on ikea tesco starbucks ccd so these are some big giants that are struggling they are competing in today's market and we are getting to know the situation they are going through it's very important for us to know what situation is there in the market because tomorrow when we are going out we we'll know that what such giants have already faced and what we are going to face or we may face. These sessions uh, really help in overall uh, development of a student's personality. Uh, as we come together in groups and we work together, it kind of helps in developing teamwork uh, skills. It kind of helps in building up confidence. These sessions really help us uh, with different case studies we kind of discuss with each other. Faculty really helps us in giving us new perspective. Think reflection helps you to become better design thinkers. Have you thought about it? That when you introspect, when you start looking inside, when you start looking at the positive and the negative emotions that you have in yourselves, do you think that helps to uh, when you start talking about it? I think we have done Anil Sar sessions, we have done yoga, we have done experiential Fridays, we have done so many things where we are doing what? We want you to be the perfect example of a business graduate. So we do a lot of internships with them to see that they are prepared before they get their placements into these companies. So I think all these ingredients which are from trimester 1 to trimester 6 are designed so beautifully that by the end of the 6th semester we are looking at them as job ready.